Right. Um, Mark Duff, Greater Hornby Residents Association. Uh, Kura Mia, uh, councillors and staff, and uh, also John Fussell and his team for the work they've done. Uh, to my left is Rolls Holstein, who is our full-time retired research and submissions officer. <laughs> um, I just quickly want to go back on the LTP for about 11 seconds. We do want to um, pass our condolences on to the family that lost the cyclist in Hornby last week. We've had three cycling deaths in the last six years and we're most probably one of the areas with the smallest cycling cycleways. So our condolences once again to that family. As an organisation, the Greater Hornby Residents Association does not want to say thank you for the opportunity to submit, but more importantly, thank you to you all for listening over the last couple of weeks to LPT submissions, development contributions, climate change, and now the representation review. What a mission, but we think what you've done, you've done it well but the proof will be in the pudding or the plum duff. <laughs> we, the GHA, strongly support the current one councillor per ward and not councillors at large. We as a Hornby ward have seen the immense benefit of having one councillor we can work with and have accountability with them. So thank you, Jimmy. It's hard enough, we think, for a councillor to fully work with one ward, its issues and its community without expecting a councillor to understand three wards. What happens if three councillors choose to not represent you and pass the baton. One councillor gives you the accountability that they are your representative. It should be noted currently that if a resident is not satisfied with their councillor and feel they're not being heard or represented, etc., they can seek engagement with one of the other councillors. Our current setup in terms of the Waipuna Ward has seen this term, Councillor Chu with her ethnic background, Councillor Chen with his ethnic background, and we have a talented young grandma and ex-teacher <laughs> and Councillor Galloway. So we have two females and one male representing our ward. The question raised on getting more female representation is more how can we get females to stand? As stats show, the females are overachieving and being elected for the number standing. Females standing at the moment have a greater chance of being elected than a male. On to the ward boundaries, and our number one concern is the fact that the Hornby Ward is proposed to lose Broomfield. Hornby and Broomfield are family and have a long-standing, strong connection. 126 on the corner, the community centre, is 400 metres from Broomfield. The primary school, 900 metres. The popular Moves Dairy, Wakola Kitchen and Susie Shop, 1.3 kilometres. Hornby High and the upcoming Hornby Centre, 1.5 kilometres. And the hub, Hornby, 1.8. I'm sorry, but that is our cheeky advertisement for some of our businesses in the high, high Broomfield area. And there's a good dog cleaning shop as well. Broomfield, if moved into the Herewood Ward, will become Christchurch's forgotten community, our Bermuda Triangle, our lost tribe. We have uh, committee members, our vice president lives in the Broomfield area, so once again we face the same that we just heard from Greg. We are ecstatic to see the area around Warren Park come into Hornby. Warren Park residents have long let us know they consider themselves Hornbyites. And this was expressed strongly during the Save Denton Park campaign. Warren Park is home to Hornby United AFC football and also the oldest New Zealand women's football team in New Zealand in the Hornby Women's Football AFC. Wigram is another matter. While we hear feedback from the longer established Wigram that they consider themselves Hornbyites, the areas of Wigram skies, etc., do not. And while separated by the old halls or by a motorway, there is a bridge. Yaldhurst has a strong affinity with Hornby as well. The Templeton, Hornby and Yaldhurst community residence groups work well together. Quarries and the Yaldhurst Hall, etc. have drawn us together. Rickard and Racecourt area, area, we agree with our community board on this and the area to stay in Hornby. Banks Peninsula we support, and while we've heard the arguments of Zoom, etc., don't underestimate the value of the face-to-face -face interaction with your councillor, especially one who works so hard in the area as Councillor Turner. Some submitters and speakers have spoken of Banks Peninsula being soaked up into city wards. We believe this is looking the wrong way around, and parts of the city ward could maybe go into Banks Peninsula, which would relieve the pressure valve on some wards who face losing long-established communities of interest. The use of the Maori language we support, but we'd like to see the meaning and the board agendas of what our board name means, like Waipuna, so every meeting we can see it and have that educational tool. 
Going forward, and the Mayor has spoken about the tight time restrictions around this review, but some serious thought needs to be given now and forward planning outside of the representation review on how the Council will look and work in 10 or 20 years' time. From the last review, the population has already increased 8%. The next time review will see another projected 7% on top of that. It goes on and on. Is it realistic to expect a councillor to represent what could be over 30,000 people at the next review? You could increase the councillors, but when does it become too large to work as an efficient governance body? In the major cities, does the remuneration of our community board members fairly reflect the increased workloads they are going on to assist the councillors? What is the role of a councillor? What is the role of a community board member? Local government in 2021 are saying they have no job description for a councillor. Mm -hmm. Can we leave you with one thought? And to sum up our case, your Mayor, you cannot change history. Broomfield is Hornby. Hornby is Broomfield. Yorthurst and the old Wigram are family. But the new area of Wigram is not. But they are always welcome tourists, like other Christchurch residents when we see them in our wonderful shopping centres and in the future, our new pool and library facility. Thank you to the council. <laughs> that was a thoroughly enjoyable submission. Um, just, uh, I think that, th that there is a, um, a project that government has announced, the future for local government, and I think some of your comments actually fit quite neatly into a conversation that we're all going to be having over the next few years. Um, uh, obviously, Councillor Jimmy Chen. Um, Thank you. So, Mark, I would like to ask one question regarding to the Broomfield. You know, what is the, your view regarding the Broomfield boundary? It only covers the Arkham Street and uh, also the, uh, the Wenga Drive, that area, small area, or is up to the south of the Yorkers and from east uh, from the, uh, the uh, West Coast Road until the Pounce Road or from the uh, common road until Gil Gilbert Thorpe's east. What is your, 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 your boundary regarding Broomfield? I'll get Ross to correct me, <laughs> but I'm sure as a committee when we discussed it, yes. we stuck with the uh, boundary that it is now that comes down Yorthurst. Yep. Yes, so yep. bigger, bi there's a kind of bigger, yep. wider the Broomfield area. The current boundary line was what we agreed on. Okay, thank you. Yep. Thank you. Just one thing. I've got Yanni and um, Ben Sam. Yeah, thank you. Just in um, point three of your submission, you, you say that you support the proposal to reduce the number of urban community boards down to five and have consistency. I, I just wondered if you um, had thought, um, if you would support um, the board that you're currently in being disbanded and cut into three? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> and, and if not, then why do you think that's fair to happen to another board's that's area? Mm. Oh, didn't Yanni, Yanni I've, I've raised this with you before in terms of questions. Um, this is the Greater Hornby Residents Association, so you've focused specifically on... Sorry, um, they're supporting the reduction and the getting rid of a board Hornby. with three yeah, wards, you, saying it's fair and, and equitable. You've made a submission based on Hornby, and the question that you asked... Well, can, I, can I ask why you support... The question you asked was... That proposal? Do you support splitting your own community board area into into the um, completely separate um, wards? And they said no. And that's the end of that question. So it's asked and answered. Sam? Uh, thank you both very much for coming in. I thought it was a really worthwhile presentation. So in terms of that Broomfield area, how many members would associate with your organisation in there? I'm just trying to gauge, I guess, that, that strong community interest. Are you like the three thousand people that live in Broomfield? You're yeah. saying how many would associate with Hornby? With your residents association, yeah. I would say, in fairness, most. Okay. Because when we have issues, that's when we hear. And I think, as a residents association, they're putting faith in us to put forward their case. And, and this is why you haven't seen like the Bench Peninsula. You've seen them come through us and our Facebook page and say that they want to stick. So with there's Hornby. A, a very strong association with your organisation. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Look, we Thank also um, hold an Easter egg hunt in the Broomfield Common. Mm. Oh, right. Each year. Yeah. Yep. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Always a winning Thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, thing to do. Any other questions? Okay, look, thank you very much for coming in and thank you, uh, thank you for your submission. Thank you. Thank you. Um, now we've got. Um,